Hey all, hope you're having a great day. We have a early 90s made in Mexico Strat on the bench today. And the point I wanna make is, uh, look at that, it's been modified. Yes, it's been modified. It's had some playing done to it, but the point is this, you see that? Delamination, delamination, delamination. This thing has uh, weathered a lot of years, and the finish is becoming delicate. It's being broken through on the on the edges and stuff. If you try to use a regular masking tape, you know the light colored white ish masking tape on this guaranteed you will peel this finish off lots of it in sheets you got to use low tack tape or at least take you know, whatever tape you're using and you know stick it to your shirt or your pants first to reduce the stickiness of it before you put it on a, a compromised finish like this otherwise you are into a world of hurt in terms of finishing refinishing costs and or touch up or whatever it's going to be um, as you can see this thing it needs some TLC but it's actually you know in pretty fair nick those frets look like they're fairly worn but eh, it's not that bad considering the uh, the age you know and uh, the guitar itself does have a lot of mojo going on so we're not going to disturb it too much anyway I digress uh, I hope you get something out of that be careful when you're masking off uh, laminated fretboards and stuff that have any age on them because this stuff, again, the point is this stuff will will continue to deteriorate. You can tell by the, the light color there. I mean, that's fresh. And it, it ain't going to get better with age. It's just going to continue and continue. But that's part of the charm. I mean, people pay good money for this kind of uh, relicking treatment, right? <laughs> anyway... Uh, as always, play loud, have fun, have a great day, like and subscribe, talk later. See ya, bye.